what is up everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel it is zachary reality and my name's megan megan reality <laughs> <laughs> that part um okay so we are here in brooklyn at meg's apartment and we're gonna be chatting about the dancing with the stars premiere mm -hmm. yep and the golden bachelorette premiere yeah and have you watched the show before no actually this is my first time for both shows? For both shows. But you were fully invested. I was. We watched on the projector. Mm -hmm. It was, like, so good. It was a big night for me. Obviously, these are my freaking shows. So we're so excited to chat about it and talk about the shows. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, We're literally <laughs> in Meg's room. So, like, this is kind of unhinged and crazy of us. Mm -hmm. What do you want to talk about first? Do you want to go over the Dancing with the Stars first? I think we should talk about the Golden Bachelorette first because we just watched it. That's true. Okay, let's okay. do that. All, all, like immediate favorites oh man okay first of all charles charles, charles. yes oh my god he was such a cute wait which one charles l i liked charles l too because yeah. there was two charles there were two keith got the first impression of us right mm -hmm. and then there was a jim i don't know jordan there was a jordan jordan the guy who played pickleball was jordan yeah. and then it became unhinged because everyone kept playing pickleball <laughs> it was like boo, 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 boo. that was kind of fun um, I do like Charles L. He yeah. was really sweet. He was a sweetheart. Yeah. Can we talk about Mark? You know what? I really like him. I kind of wish I saw more of him. Mark? Yeah. But there's more to come. It's just I mean, the episode one. No, that's completely true. But like, We saw the trailer. She literally said, I love you, Mark. I know. What was that about? That means Mark goes far. I, I, I didn't think that he would go all the way to the end. But I do think if she's saying I love you, that means he's like probably top three he or might. four, which which means Kelsey could be at the hometowns with That's Joey. True. I really like Mark, and I think it was really sweet how Kelsey came in, introduced mm -hmm. her dad. Do you have any familiarity with Kelsey from The Bachelor? I do a little bit. I mean, I know obviously she, her and Joey, like made it all the way to the end. Um, and yes. she's She's so sweet and absolutely stunning. Kelsey? Yeah. yeah we love Kelsey. <laughs> and I like that she's letting her dad, you know, do his thing. Because he was obviously very beloved mm -hmm. on The Bachelor. Because he was in her hometown. And yeah. then she won. So he went to the After the Final Rose. Mm -hmm. So everyone loved him. And that's why everyone's saying that he should be the Golden Bachelor next. Mm -hmm. But the thing is... Is that, like, that's kind of crazy to, like, put that on him when, like, he's supposed to date Joan. I know. Like, what if she gets her heart broken now because everyone's, like, other producers or Mark? Like, what if everyone's, like, your golden bachelor? Yeah. I mean, it looks like, it seems like he's really open for love right now. Like, he really wants to try it out and see, like, where it could take him. But, I mean, anything's possible, right? Do you think he's going to win Joan's heart? She said, I love you. And she also said to Kelsey, just call me mom. <laughs> She literally was like, he's cute. Like, that is so crazy yeah. to say to, like, the daughter. I know. I know. Well, I guess we'll just have to see, right? He's going far. We obviously saw the teaser. You know who else showed up in the teaser? Gary. Jerry. The Golden Bachelor. Oh, my gosh. You're right. He yeah. did. He totally did. What is... I'm... He obviously is coming to give her advice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was listening to her on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast, mm -hmm. and she said that she would like, talk to him on the phone for like two hours. Like, yeah. He gave her all this advice. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you know how he got married, and then he got a TV wedding, and then they got divorced. I didn't hear that. Yeah, he was the first Golden Bachelor, and he did all that. So he kind of, his reputation got tarnished through yeah. all that. So I feel like he was used to be so wholesome and stuff, but then he kind of got the... Damn, Gary. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but he might not... He might know a good amount of, like, how to help Joan go through it because he also went through it. Well, what advice do you think he's going to give her? I don't know. Go with your heart, I guess. Go with your heart. So, I kind of heard her interview saying that for Fantasy Suites, she might not, like, do them. Wow. I mean... Go for her. Yeah, she's you know? 61. Let's yeah. talk about this. I mean, there's a lot of different guys... And, you know, she wants to find her second chance at love, which we're all for. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it's a little different watching because, like, you're used to seeing a bunch of hot guys in their 25s. It's and, different. And, like, I don't have daddy issues, you know? Like, yeah. I don't... I think the girls who, have, like, like the sugar daddies, mm -hmm. you know, they're probably into this season. Yeah. But for us normal folks in our 20s, like, where are the hot people? I'm crying. <sighs> I think it's I think it's going to be good because I think it gives a platform for a lot of the for like 
people who are in their 50s and 60s and are trying to find love so I think it's gonna make them like want to kind of pursue and do more in their love life I'm all here for it. I'm all yeah. here for the diversity, age, and it all. And there was a lot of different guys there for Joan. You could tell that she was excited about a few. Mm -hmm. um, who else stuck out to you during that um, one? It seemed like Chalk was really on her mind. Chalk. Um, but don't you think he was a little... Was he the one that was like, I already been to Africa? Remember someone said that? I don't remember. That. I don't know. Okay, Chalk. Who else stuck out to you? Um... Obviously, Keith, because he got the first impression rose, and yeah. he was very sweet. And you can kind of tell that, like, they were kind of feeling it a little bit. I mean, he had his arm on it. She her. kissed him. She, They did kiss. She didn't kiss anyone at all until him. Yeah. And that was her first impression rose. Because sometimes, like, on The Bachelor, they kiss, like, nine girls in one night. I know. They're so horny. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, she didn't want to kiss on TV. Like, there's yeah. definitely, like, it's definitely different when it's, like, your second marriage. Mm -hmm. I thought that Gil... Sadell. Yeah. And Guy. Yeah. And that too. the Charles. Okay. But Jordan. What about Pascal? Pascal. <laughs> Let's talk about Pascal, <laughs> the villain. The villain? You think so? I felt like he interrupted her before she was even finished with her toast and her speech. Mm -hmm, he did. He was like, I'm going to steal you. And it was giving mm -hmm. Devin from yeah. last season, which is not a good thing. And he was kind of boasting about it afterwards. Right? I know. And he, there was, and he kind of like, has a little bit of that energy that is mm -hmm. like, I am Pascal. And he was an easy target for a lot of the guys. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy because I feel like we're going to get a normal bachelorette season with like the stripping date. Like they're going to roast each other. Mm -hmm. Like, could there be drama in the house? Like there was one other guy, I forgot who, who I felt like could have drama with Pascal. Was it Jonathan? It might have, or Remember Jonathan, Jonathan or Jordan? No, not Jordan. Jonathan? I felt like Jonathan was the one who was like, my kids are teenagers. Oh, right. You're a bit, you're a bit ahead of me. <laughs> and Joe's like, I have grandkids. <laughs> and I also feel like some of the guys were kind of old. I mean, they're all older. She's 61. Like, they could have threw in some, like, 45-year-olds. I mean, Mark was the youngest. He's, like, 57. Seven, yeah. yeah. They could have threw in a little bit younger because she is so youthful and stuff. Yeah. But I hope she finds love. Um, There was an article saying that she, like, what her goal was not to get engaged. Mm -hmm. So it's just to, like, find a life partner and yeah. that she basically wants to be with someone who loves their family. She doesn't want to leave her family in Maryland so that if she were to fall in love with someone and they love their family, mm -hmm. they would do, like, two weeks back and forth every month. Yeah. Better. So, thoughts for the season, hopes, goals, what are your thoughts? Oh, you know what? I, first of all, I want to see more of Mark, and I think we will. Yeah. Um, And I absolutely love Charles L. So, I don't know. I'm, like, really excited to see, we like, how, how far it goes, how far they all go. Do you think she's going to find love? I think so. I think she might. Well, definitely. I she said she, she loves Mark. She did. She said she loves Mark. <laughs> I hope she finds love, too. And I mean, I hope it's not as dramatic as Jen's finale. So mm -hmm. we're wishing Joan the best. Period. Okay, let's talk about Dancing with the Stars. We'll chat with you guys for a few more minutes. Meg loves to be on camera. So <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, some of my favorites, night one, were definitely Joey and Jenna. They mm -hmm. opened it up. I thought he was a sleigh. Yeah. I love seeing Jen perform. I love seeing Sasha and Steven. They mm -hmm. were the Pumple guy. They yeah. were so good. Yeah. Like, amazing. Yeah. Sleigh. And I also really enjoyed seeing Val and Phaedra and Anna and Ezra. Yeah. Who are your, some of your favorites? I think my favorite was Chandler. I forget who her partner was. Brandon. But I, yeah. Chandler is from Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, I thought she did amazing. Like, she just, mm -hmm. like hit the points, and she had so much, like, attitude with it. I thought it was just awesome. It was fun. She's a star. Yeah. She's a natural star. I think she's going to go really far. I think a few people on the chopping block are definitely Reggie and Emma, mm -hmm. Eric and Britt. Um, what about Danny and Whitney? I don't know. Danny and Mandola. So his girlfriend, allegedly, was in the audience. Her name's Zandra. She's from TikTok. Oh. You're like, you don't know who that is. No. But you know who else was in the <laughs> audience? For Jen, there was Susie and Justin. Mm -hmm. And Jonathan. Yeah, you Jonathan was there. Tell them your thoughts about Jonathan. I mean, honestly, I don't really know the... <laughs> but, like, give them some of your thoughts about Jonathan. And then I'm going to give... I have to give them a Susie Justin rundown. Well, he looked he looked amazing. He looked like he was having fun. Jonathan like, was Jen's like... third place on her season. Because her top I two mean... were jerks. We it, didn't love her, and now she's, like, flirting with Jonathan again. I mean, it looked like he was happy that he was there and just happy to just support Jen. Like, like it seemed like genuinely he Gen was, like... Genuinely? Genuinely? Someone posted a video on TikTok They were going like this. <laughs> Jonathan and Jen. <gasps> yeah, they're going to be cute together. I well, think they're going to get together. Yeah. Um, Susie and Justin were both there as friends with Jen, mm -hmm. so they broke up, but, like, decided they're still going to be friends. Yeah. 
but there's another like just next to each other right. supporting Jen. They were like, yeah. we need privacy. <laughs> and like, I think that they maybe want to make it work. I don't know, but yeah. it definitely didn't end off on bad terms. No, it didn't. You don't even know what I'm talking about. No, <laughs> but. Sorry, I'm <laughs> issuing my notes. <laughs> Um, but I thought Jen killed it. I mean, Tori Spelling is going to go job. home early, too, I think, yeah. on the show. Gleb and Brooke were hot. Mm -hmm. um, it's Dwight Howard and Daniela, who are obviously going to be a sleigh. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, Stephen Riley, Ezra, and, I mean, Anna Delvey. Yeah, I know. That She's going to be so much fun to watch. Yeah. She bedazzled her ankle bracelet. Do you think she'll make it through, like, the past... I mean, she deserves a second chance at life, yeah. considering she served 12 years and a $200,000 restitution. No, that's true. It's just crazy that ICE had to approve her to come into the country. Yeah. And they couldn't, they can't even approve Joe Judice. <laughs> but <laughs> she doesn't know that reference. No. But you might. <laughs> um, I hope she goes far. I think her and Ezra are going to be so much fun to watch. Yeah. It was fun to watch Dance with the Stars. It was really I loved fun. that show. I think I really loved watching Steven. No, I think him and Riley are so fun. Yeah. yeah. And he, they like made it like kind of a little bit about him with like a rubik's cube and that was really fun and he just seemed like he was having a fun time yeah no it was such a fun show yeah. both nights were really fun um i've been staying at megs in brooklyn how have i been as a guest amazing Absolutely really amazing. what is my pros and cons i mean you always bring the fun okay and my cons there hasn't been a con no yeah way. We i'm have leaving tomorrow <laughs> We have a few more hours. Oh my god, no, I posted a meme <laughs> on my Instagram story. I was like, all I need is a couch and a charger. <laughs> and it's so real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm in New York, so it's been fun to watch on East Coast. Mm -hmm. I'm staying at Meg's. Tomorrow I'm going to a hotel and working the Real Housewives of New York City premiere, which is going to be so much fun, so I can't wait to show you guys and tag you along. Um, but Meg and I have had a great week. We had a little wine party last night. Yeah, we did. Your boyfriend's in the other room. Mm -hmm. We're recording a video. How, how, whenever I come and I put you on camera, you know, how is it for you? I mean, it's a little nerve wracking. Like, don't get me wrong, but like, it's, it always just feels natural with us. Like, it's never like I'm, we're like pulling anything from each other. It just, it just happens. You're that better way. at camera. <laughs> You're better on camera than you think you are. Really? Yeah, I think you're great on camera. Let everyone send Meg likes and love in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed the recap, honestly. Like, love you guys. And we will chat soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.